the rise and fall of the Japanese idol. Hello, podcast listeners. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating aspect of Japanese pop culture the rise and fall of the Japanese idol. Idols are young entertainers in Japan who are trained to sing, dance, act, and present themselves as ideal figures for fans to admire. They have been a significant part of Japanese media for decades, influencing music, television, and fashion. Let's explore the journey of idols from their peak of popularity to the challenges they face today. The birth of idols, 1970s and 1980s. The concept of idols began in the 1970s. The term idol was used to describe young female singers who were marketed for their wholesome image and cute appeal. These early idols were known for their catchy pop songs, charming personalities, and innocent looks. The first wave, one of the first idols to gain national fame was Mamo Yamaguchi. Debuting in 1972, she became a sensation with her sweet voice and girl next door image. Her success paved the way for other idols, and soon, the concept became a significant part of Japanese entertainment. Alongside Mamo Yamaguchi, idols like Sayori Minami and Junko Sakurada also emerged, each bringing their unique charm to the forefront of the industry. The Golden Age The 1980s is often referred to as the Golden Age of idols. This era saw the rise of iconic figures like Seiko Matsuda and Akina Nakamori. These idols not only dominated the music charts, but also starred in TV dramas, commercials, and movies. Their influence extended to fashion, with fans imitating their hairstyles and outfits. The media played a crucial role in promoting these idols, creating a cycle of constant exposure and adoration. Other notable idols from this era include Shizuka Kudo, who was known for her distinctive voice and fashion sense, and Yoko Minamino, who starred in popular dramas and movies. The Idol Machine, 1990s to 2000 seconds. By the 1990s, the idol industry had become more systematized. Agencies would recruit young talents, often in their early teens, and train them rigorously in singing, dancing, and public speaking. These idols were then marketed to specific demographics, from preteen girls to middle-aged men. The Rise of Groups This period saw the rise of idol groups. One of the most notable was SMAP, a boy band that debuted in 1991. SMAP members were not only singers, but also actors, variety show hosts, and even chefs. Their versatility and charm won over a wide range of fans, making them one of Japan's most beloved groups. SMAP's influence extended beyond music, as they starred in popular TV shows like SMAP Times SMAP, where they showcased their cooking skills and comedic talents. Female groups take center stage. In the late 1990s and early 2000 seconds, female idol groups like Morning Musume became incredibly popular. Morning Musume's unique concept of rotating members kept the group fresh and relevant. Their infectious pop songs and elaborate performances captivated audiences nationwide. Morning Musume's success led to the creation of Hello! Project, an umbrella group for several female idol groups, further expanding the idol landscape. Hello! Project also introduced groups like CU and Barry's Kobo, which found their own dedicated fan bases. AKB48 and the Idol Revolution. The mid 2000s seconds brought a significant shift in the idol industry with the formation of AKB48. This group, founded by Yasushi Akimoto, had a unique Idols You Can Meet concept. AKB48 members performed daily at their theater in Akihabara, Tokyo, allowing fans to see them up close. The group also held handshake events, where fans could meet and interact with their favorite members. AKB48's business model was revolutionary. It created a deeper connection between idols and fans, fostering a loyal and dedicated fan base. The group expanded to include multiple teams and sister groups in different cities and even overseas. This period marked the peak of idol popularity, with AKB48 dominating music charts and media. Sister groups like SKE48 in Nagoya, NMB48 in Osaka, and HKT48 in Fukuoka followed the same successful model, broadening the reach of the idol phenomenon. Johnny's JR and boy bands On the male idol front, Johnny's and Associates continued to produce successful groups. 
Besides SMAP, groups like Arashi, Katun, and He say Jump became household names. Arashi, in particular, achieved immense popularity, becoming one of the best selling music artists in Japan and gaining international recognition. The Challenges, 2010 Seconds and Beyond. Despite their immense popularity, idols face numerous challenges. The industry's demanding nature, intense competition, and changing public tastes have made it difficult for idols to maintain their status. Rigorous training and pressure. The training process for idols is intense and often starts at a young age. Many idols balance school with long hours of practice, leaving little time for personal life. The pressure to maintain a perfect image can be overwhelming, leading to physical and mental health issues. Stories of idols collapsing from exhaustion or suffering from anxiety are not uncommon. The rigorous schedules and high expectations placed on idols contribute to burnout and, in some cases, early retirement, scandals and privacy issues. Idols are expected to uphold a squeaky clean image, but this can be incredibly challenging. Any scandal, no matter how minor, can significantly damage an idol's career. Relationships, for instance, are often forbidden or kept secret to maintain the illusion that idols are available to their fans. When scandals do arise, they are sensationalized by the media, leading to public backlash and, sometimes, the end of an idol's career. High-profile scandals, such as those involving Minami Mainjishi of AKB48, and Erika Sawajiri have highlighted the harsh realities of idol life and the unforgiving nature of the industry. Shifts in public interest In recent years, there has been a shift in public interest towards more authentic and relatable personalities. The rise of social media influencers and YouTubers has provided an alternative form of entertainment where fans can connect with individuals who share more of their real lives. This trend has posed a challenge to the traditional idol industry which relies on carefully crafted images. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube have given rise to a new generation of celebrities who share their daily routines, hobbies, and thoughts, providing a sense of authenticity that contrasts with the polished image of traditional idols. The future of idols. The idol industry is adapting to these challenges in various ways. Some agencies are allowing idols more freedom in their personal lives, understanding that a more relatable image can also attract fans. There is also a growing emphasis on mental health, with agencies providing better support for their talents. International expansion. Japanese idols are increasingly seeking international audiences. Groups like BABYMETAL, and Perfume have found success abroad, performing at major music festivals and embarking on international tours. This global reach provides new opportunities for idols to grow their fan base and explore different markets. BABYMETAL's unique fusion of heavy metal and idol pop, combined with their elaborate stage shows, has garnered a dedicated following worldwide, while Perfume's futuristic pop sound and high-tech performances have captivated international audiences. Digital Platforms The rise of digital platforms has also changed how idols interact with fans. Social media, live streaming, and online events have become crucial tools for maintaining fan engagement. These platforms allow idols to share more of their personalities and everyday lives, creating a more genuine connection with fans. Virtual concerts, fan meetings via video calls, and exclusive online content are becoming increasingly popular, enabling idols to reach fans even during global events like the COVID-19 pandemic. Evolving concepts. New idol groups are experimenting with different concepts and themes to stand out in the crowded market. Some groups focus on specific niches, such as anime or gaming, while others promote unique messages, like environmental sustainability or mental health awareness. These evolving concepts help attract diverse audiences and keep the idol culture dynamic. For example, the virtual idol group KDA, featuring characters from the video game League of Legends, has gained international fame, blending gaming culture with music and performance. Similarly, the group Bish markets itself as an anti-idol group, 
Breaking away from traditional idol norms and appealing to a broader audience, the rise and fall of the Japanese idol is a story of evolution, adaptation, and resilience. From the charming solo idols of the 1970s to the powerhouse groups of the 2000s seconds, idols have continually captivated audiences with their talent, dedication, and charisma. Despite the challenges they face, idols remain a significant part of Japanese culture, evolving with the times and finding new ways to connect with fans. As we look to the future, it's clear that the idol industry will continue to change and innovate. Whether you're a long-time fan or new to the world of idols, there's always something exciting happening in this unique and fascinating aspect of Japanese entertainment. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more insights into the world of Japanese pop culture.